Okay, so last example for conjugate beam method. Determine the maximum deflection of the beam loaded as shown in the figure. E is equal to 8 gigapascal and I is 16.121 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Okay. So, E natin is 8 gigapascal and yung I naman natin is 16.121 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, kung naalala nyo to, kung napanood nyo yung ano, uh, example number 5 natin sa double integration, ito yon, Okay? So, ito, i-compare naman natin yung uh, solution natin sa double integration sa conjugate beam method. So, dapat pares pa rin yung makuha sagot. So, actually, pares rin naman yung nakuha sagot. May discrepancy nga lang ng konti. Okay? Anyway, kung ano man to, yung ano, tag ito, kasi yung mga method na ginamit natin, yung conjugate beam method, uh, moment error theorem, and... Uh, double integration method is para sa determinate uh, beam. Okay? So, kahit ano yung gamitin mo sa ano, beam, pares pa rin yung makukuha mo. Okay? Kung wala, yung example number 1 ko doon sa double integration, gamitan nyo siya ng, ano, ng conjugate beam, gamitan mo ng moment area, pares pa rin yung makukuha ang sagot. Okay? So, ito, try natin. So, solve natin yung reaction. Okay? Ang reaction dito is 91.667 and sa B is 183.33 Newton. Okay? So, this is Newton. This is Newton. So, dito, mas madaling mag-moment sa uh, B. Okay? Kasi, ma kasi maximum deflection ang pinapahanap eh. So, mamaya kasi, kagawin natin, yung maximum deflection natin is nakalocate sa gitna ng A and B. Then, yung X natin magagaling sa A. Para yung ating... Uh, Tawag ito. Yung figure is... Ayan, may mamaya. Makita nyo. Ma-appreciate nyo mamaya kung bakit dito tayo sa B. Okay? Ayan. So, drawing nyo na rin. Ito siya. Pag nag-moment kasi tayo sa B, ganito yung magiging drawing. Okay? So, ito nyan. First degree. Okay? Ayan. Ito pala. Ano to? Ah... Uh, hinge pa rin. Then ito, roller pa rin. Okay? Ayan. So, this is 91.667 multiplied by 10. So, 916.67. Okay? Okay. Ito naman, ang magiging drawing niya is pag ganito. Okay, ganyan yung magiging moment niya. So, kung first degree to, Sa shear, second degree. Sa moment, magiging na siyang ano? Third degree. Okay? So, third degree curve na yan. Ah, sorry, sorry. Downward pala siya. Okay? So, downward. Sa baba, pala pala. Ayan. Third degree curve. This is A and this is B. Then, this is what? Yung ano natin, moment natin. That is what? 1 half of 55 multiplied by what? 10 multiplied by moment arm na 1 third of 10. So, this is negative. Okay. 916.6 Okay. 916.67 Ayan. So, i-locate na natin. Ah, sorry. I-solve muna natin yung mga reaction. Ang reaction nito is downward na 1,069.448 Sana alam nyo na yung pag-solve dito sa reaction na Same lang din naman yung pagkuha ng reaction. Okay? Ah, sorry. Sige, kailangan ko pala ipakita, no? Kasi, iba na pala yung degree nito. Baka malito kayo. Pakita natin yung reaction sa A. So, mag-moment tayo sa, A, sa B. So, summation of moment at B is equal to 0. Clockwise is positive. So, anong equal nito? Counterclockwise. So, negative. Sabi natin RA. Multiplied by what? By 10. Then, ito naman, ikot ng clockwise, itong 916. So, 1 half of 916.667 multiplied by 10 multiplied by moment arm na 1 third of 10. Then, ito naman. Ano ba ang area na ito? Ang area na napag-usapan natin sa, ano, sa moment area theorem is 1 over n plus 1. So, ang n natin is 3. So, ang Ang area natin is what? So, ito ay ano, counterclockwise. So, negative what? 
1 over n, so 3 plus 1, so 1 fourth of height na 916.667667 pa rin naman yan, okay? Multiplied by base na 10. Then, ano yung kanyang ano? moment arm? Ang moment arm niya, or yung centroids niya, mula dito sa kanyang height, is yung x bar, okay? Paano ulit yung x bar natin? 1 over n plus 2 multiplied by base, okay? So, 1 over what? 1 fifth over 1 fifth multiplied by 10. Okay? Ayan. Is equals to 0. So, ang RA natin is equals to 1069.448 over AI. Okay? So, yun yun. Pagkuha ng reaction. Over AI. So, nakuha ko naman sa B is downward din na 336 1.123 123 over EI. Ayan. So, maglalakot na natin yung, ano, yung maximum deflection natin. Sabi natin, distance X. So, this is A and this is B. Okay? So, Yung A natin, over what? Over X is equals to 916.67 over 10. Therefore, ang ating A is equals to 91.667 multiplied by X. Okay. Next, yung B naman natin. Okay. Kasi yung B, pasok pa rin yan sa ano, from A to B. Tama ba? Tapos, para makuha yung 916.617, anong ginawa natin? Nag-moment tayo sa B. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, magmoment tayo sa point na to. Dito. Ayan. Ayan, dyan sa, sa point na to. Okay? Kaso, ang distance nga lang niya, ito, x. So, kailangan natin kunin to. So, c. So, kunin naman natin yung c. So, c, okay, over x is equals to what? 55 over 10. Therefore, ang ating C is equals to what? 5.5 multiplied by X. Ayan. So, mag-moment tayo dito sa point na to para makuha yung B. Kasi nga, di ba nakuha natin itong height na to? Nung nag-moment tayo sa point na to. So, ngayon, makukuha natin yung height na to pag nag-moment tayo dito. Okay? So, B. Small B. Is equals to what? 1 half of X multiplied by height na C na 5.5 X multiplied by moment arm na 1 third of x. Okay, so ang b natin is equals to what? Okay, 0.9166x cube. Ayan. So ngayon, mag-share na tayo dito sa point na to. Sabi natin point C. Ayan, big C. So, shear, tanggal natin to. Ito, di rin naman natin gagamitin eh. Doon lang naman tayo sa left. So, shear at C. Okay, so left side is equals to Negative 1069.448. Then, itong triangle na ito na pataas, 1 half of x multiplied by a what? By a, which is 91.667x. Then, ito, anong error na ito? Kanina, 1 fourth. Tama ba? So, 1 fourth of uh, x multiplied by b. Ang b natin is 0.9166x cubed. At yung ating shear at C, since nalolokay ating maximum deflection, is equal to 0. So, makukuha natin dyan na X is equals to 5.193. Ayan. So, malapit sa sagot dun sa natin, double integration. Ang sagot ata dun is 5.194. So, sa atin, 5.193 dito sa conjugate beam method. Okay. Pero kapag pinakalaki pa natin mga decimal dyan, kaparas sa, uh, sa ano, double integration, magutugma sila. Okay. Yan, so ito yung location natin. Okay? So mag-moment na tayo. Ano ba pinapanat? Maximum deflection. So moment. So mag-moment na tayo sa point C. Okay? Sa left section ulit. Okay? So, okay, so moment at C sa left section is equals to negative 1069.448 multiplied by x. Okay? Then, Ano pa? Ito, yung ano natin, triangle. So, 1 half of x multiplied by what? A, 
Now, 91.667x multiplied by moment arm na one-third of x. Then, ito naman, sa baba, negative. So, negative siya kasi counterclockwise. Tamba. So, neg uh, sorry, this is not one-half. This is one-fourth of x multiplied by b. Ang b natin is 0.9166x cubed. Multiplied by moment arm. Ang moment arm niya is one-fifth. One-fifth of x. Ayan. So, yung moment natin at C sa left is equals to what? Okay. This, this is also the uh, M max. M max na lang para ayan. So, M maximum M maximum So, ang M maximum natin is negative 3587.199 Newton meter cube over E I. Ayan. So, makuha natin yung Y max. So, Y max is equal to 3587.199 Newton meter cube. So, ito na lang convert natin yung meter cube. So, 1000 cube para millimeter cube. Over 8 times 10 raised to 3. Times 16.121 times 10 raised to 6. Okay? Therefore, ang ating y mass is, is yun, para sa parang nakuha natin, negative 27.815 millimeters. So, nakuha natin there is 27.8 something. Okay? So, para pa rin sila ng whole number. So, ano, may discrepancy pero para pa rin yung Sagot. So, ito yung, ano, yung maximum deflection natin from A to B. So, ito yung pag, ano, pagsasolve or, ah, yes, yung pagsasolve gamit yung conjugate beam method sa triangular load. So, medyo komplikado siyang tignan. Okay? So, drawing na natin. So, dapat alam mo yung ano lang concept. Kagaya nito yung sa B. Yung pagkuha ng B. Okay? So, saan yung location niya? Uh, 5.193. So, na uh, lagpas ng gitna. Point 0.1. Okay, so sabihin natin dito. So ito na yung kanyang. Ayan. So this is A, this is C. This is B. So, ang tangent natin ngayon sa C is 0. Ah, sorry. Ang tangent natin dito is horizontal. At ang ating slope dito is equal to 0. Okay, na kung saan, sa point na to, sa C, dito nakalocate yung maximum uh, deflection. Okay? So, ito na yung number, uh, example number 5 and also the last example for conjugate beam method. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Bye!